Good night, good night. How are everyone doing tonight? God is good, God is good all the time. My name is Alan J. Spencer Ryan. I'm here to give you a uh, word out tonight. Okay, we're going to talk about being consistent with your, uh, with your prayer life. And this is widow. Her husband had died. She's going to need justice. And this judge, he, he, he ain't going to want to give her justice. He said, I don't like people, and I'm not scared of God. You know, so there was an unjust judge. It's going to come from Luke chapter 18, 1 through 8. Now, this story is about being positioned in your prayer, prayer life. Never take no for an answer, because this lady didn't. Keep on pushing until you get a yes. So, then Jesus had told his disciples a parable uh, to show them that they should always pray and never give up. You know, even when you're tired, you know, still pray. Never lose heart and keep the faith. Now, he said, in a certain town, there was a judge. Now, who needed to fear God? He didn't fear God, you know, and, and no, he, he kept. He didn't care for people, you know, so he had no business being a judge, you know, and so Jesus identified um, this judge's lack of compassion, you know, but simply doesn't care, you know, and there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea granted to justice against her herself, you know, because uh, she, I guess she needs something done. After her husband had died. You know, and so the widow in the orphan uh, was among the most valuable um, than God people. Now they were supposed to they were supposed to take care of the widow in the orphan. You know, like when the widow husband died, they were supposed to take care of her. You know, uh, but the judge doesn't care, you know, for some time he refused. But finally he said to himself. You know, even though I don't feel God, I don't care what people think. Now, this is an unjust. You know, he 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 don't, he he don't care what the people think, and he don't feel God. You know, but this lady gonna keep on coming because she feel God, and, and she and she prays God. This corrupted, um, heartless. You know, just the judge openly respect God and other people. You know, now he he has no care for um for martial law, and I wish it's it's supposed to be whole. Now he has no business being a judge. You know, he he don't have no respect for the law. You know, he disrespect God. You know, and he don't care for people. You know, but yet, begin this widow had keep bothering him. You know, I will see that you get justice. Now he about to see she gonna get justice. And he said she bothering him. You know, uh, and that she won't eventually come back again attack. See now, now he he thinking the woman are gonna gonna attack him. And see that's what you do. You know, this lady she she kept on going. Now he thought he was gonna wear her out. He kept on giving her no, rejecting her. She just kept on coming back till she woke him up. And that's how you got to do. You got to keep on praying. And keep on praying, even if you don't see nothing. But just like me, I'm in, in the long storm. I just keep on praying, you know. And, 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 and uh, don't matter how it look. You know, you just got to keep on praying. You got to keep, keep hope, you know. And you got to have faith and believe that God is hearing your prayers. You know, and now, now this woman, he said this woman bothered him. You know, when he thought she was going to wear her mouth, that's what you got to do. You got to keep on going until you wear them out. You know, so he got woke up and talking about she bothering me. He's a judge. You're not even supposed to say somebody bothering him. You know, and so, so that she won't eventually attack him. Now, he being rude to her, but he thinks she going to attack him. You know, the widow eventually had received justice from this judge, not because he cared. He was simply tired, and she wore him down, you know, because she never stopped showing up. Every day she pursued him for justice. 
And that's how my situation is too. Now I just when I, when I was working, they said she keep on showing up. You know, she she I kept on getting rejection too, no too, and I still was showing up. You know, still was showing up and still praying to God. You know, and you got to keep showing up to you eventually you gonna get on people's nerves. You know, and she kept on she keep showing up. You know, this woman just kept on showing up. You know, he kept turning away. She come right back. You know, and that's how you do. You know. And so the widow, so the widow eventually had received justice from the judge, not because he cared, but he was simply tired and she rolled him out because she never stopped showing up every day pursuing him for justice. You know, and so uh, I don't care how they are. Uh, I don't care how many no's you get, how many rejections you get, you know, keep on, keep on praying, keep on pressing your way to never stop, never stop. Now he got, he got scared and he thought she was going to attack him and he the one being rude, you know, and the law said, listen to what the unjust judge said, you know, corrupt the judge. Who will only give a widow justice when he become tired, you know, and walled out the unjust judge. And that's what, what it is. You know, he didn't he didn't um, took her case, you know, because she he um he didn't take her case because he cared. He took the case because she walled him out. She bothering him. She never stopped going to him. You know, and and uh, and it would not it was not uh and it was not God that bring about justice, you know, but his um, chosen one, he cried out to him day and night. Will he keep putting things off? You know, now if an unjust judge responds to the constant uh pressure, how much more um will a a, a great and loving God respond to us? God's a judge too. You know, so when this unjust don't want to uh, don't want to see you, you know, you can call on God. You know, and so so the position be positioned in your prayer, and keep us keep keep in communication with God, cause see that what she would do. She she'll go home and pray every day. She pray, you know, and and she kept communication with God. You know, so the widow had put pressure on the judge. You got to put pressure on. I, I know this lady kept on going for a job at the airport. They kept telling her no. She kept on showing up. You know, you go every three months. She just kept showing up. And then the, the, the last time she showed up, that's when they hired. They said, ain't you was here before? Because she wore them out. She did got tired of seeing her. You know, and sometimes sometime when you have to get justice, you have to keep on showing up. Even after rejection and, and closed off, you got to keep showing up, you know. And so, so I tell you, now he will see, he will see, they will get just. Now, see, why he and she's not the owner one, he he won't want to take a lot of uh, Israelite cases. You know, but they were praying to the God. You know, and so that's why he said, "Oh, I, 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 I tell you this now. He will see y'all. You know, get justice and quickly. You know, in heaven. However, when the Son of Man comes and when he finds faith on this earth, it will be a free. Now, what this judge don't know that God people are praying people." You know, now God got involved and said quickly he would take care of his case. Now she, she was not only one that was saying no to, you know, God people was, was praying to God about this judge. Now Jesus had compared God not with a good man, but with a good um, godness. You know, the man had emphasized the difference between the unjust judge and the righteous God. See, when he made that statement, 
you know, he has, he said, how come, you know, when an unjust don't want to take your case, don't want to respond, you know, how about the righteous God, he will take your case. And see, that's what he was kind of trying to compare. This man is unjust. He He's not going to take nobody's case. But a righteous God will take your case. You know, and so Jesus has shown us, you know, to be persistent in your prayer. You know, have a, a daily um, prayer life. Even if it haven't come, you know, through, but yet, be but keep praying. You know, even if, if you don't see it, you know, keep praying. You know, not she wore them out. She wore them out. He got tired. You know, now this is an unjust um, judge that didn't want us to take their cases, but God has said quickly, He will handle all cases. You know, keep on praying and never stop. There's power in prayer. You know, and so, and so that's what I had put out yesterday about how. I didn't have no children. I didn't have no children. And that's when she started praying to God in the spirit. Praying to God to, to her heart. You know, her mouth was moving. And I thought, thought she was drinking and, and, and stuff like that. But she was praying to God in her spirit. You know, because she, uh, she wanted to see a baby. You know, and so and that's all I have for you today. Just stood on this widow, you know. Jesus is trying to tell them, always pray. Always pray, don't never stop. You know, and so uh, that's all I have for you today. Oh, uh, uh, also, uh, you can um, contact me, you know, to set up a schedule for Bible study. I'm going to try to have Bible study once a week. Also, a spiritual healer. And, uh, and what is my thing? Okay. Bible study once a week. You can schedule all my information gonna be down below. Spiritual healing. You know, uh you can schedule, give me all your um issue or whatever going on. I will try to work with it. But you know the first thing to work with uh any issue that you might be um gone with, be in heaven with, you know, is the Bible. That's why I say I do Bible study first. Because learn God's word and then you connect with God. You know, we try when I'm healing, the first thing to do is to try to help get y'all connected with God. You know, that's the number one. Love God, put him first. And then on um, the spiritual healing, uh, I'm gonna um, tell y'all to uh, meditate. Um, also will tell you to um, fast. You know, um, and also um, book a reading, you know, a particular future. I'm missing divine, you know. You can come on my TikTok account and drop the picture off in a name, you know, and I'll try to locate that person for you. And that's all I have for you today. Y'all have a blessed and safe night, and I'll see y'all in the next video.